And you know, Lord, please search my heart and know my turn. If there's anything wicked, please let me know. And you take it away, and you're really willing to give his heart. Father, create in me a clean heart, because the wicked is our heart. For the wicked, there is no peace. And Jesus said, I give you that peace. John 14, 27. The peace that I give you, no one in the world can. I challenge you, the peace that I give you. The world can only give you P I E C E E, right? Mm -hmm. And P I C E is, is not the real peace. It's a peace piece. <laughs> this is a piece of thing. Apple. <laughs> this is exactly what happens. It shows. That's exactly what the enemy. You want to dismember you. And here he says, "I give you in verse 27, 14, 27, John, I give you a perfect peace." Those people who I stayed upon the Lord, Isaiah says in 28, 3, they keep find peace. What? Somebody was saying. Perfect peace. Perfect peace. Perfect peace. Perfect peace. Perfect peace. Perfect so Jesus is saying, I give you the perfect peace. That means you are, I should And Jesus is see. called the king. Well, well, I prince is a king. Of peace. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is a prince of peace in Isaiah 9, 6. Yes, that's the king. He's now giving you this teaching and saying, look guys, here he talked to the king. The king came and talked to the people who were set apart and to the priests, to the Levites and the people. They all assembled and they repented of their evil. They sanctified, they cleansed. And now the beautiful thing is that chapter 30, the last verse, somebody read it. Second Chronicles chapter 30. Same, same Chronicles? Yeah. After that, that see, when all this yeah. messes, mess, you know, a whole body was completely destroyed. We know that. Then the a whole life, all few. Yeah. Then the priest and Levites arose and blessed the people, yeah. and their voice was heard, and their prayers came up to God's holy oh. habitation in heaven. Ooh. Now you understand? Oh. All this day we thought our prayers are being, oh, why are our prayers are not answered? Oh, why are because our prayers it says. not answered? And now, and now sin is gone, so the prayers are heard. The Lord is, you know, you said, Glory. then when you do all these things, and God says, you know, I will. What? I answer all your prayers. Wow. All your prayers. Your sickness, he says, call unto the anointed, call the elders. When they lay hands, you're healed already. When you hear the word, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, he says, when you're hearing the word, by hearing, just by hearing you, immediately the Holy Spirit seals you right away. Yep. And also in Romans 10, 17, it says hearing, hearing, yeah. come, faith hearing, by faith hearing. Come, hearing the word. Right. How can they hear in whom they not heard? How can they hear without him sending? How can he send if you don't pray? It's all be connected, interpolated. So we heard today the message. And you know, it's a challenge. God said, why we don't prosper? Why you don't have what others have? What is that lacking in your life? When you came and gave everything for you, you're supposed to be in the front, front line. And you don't have to be behind. You don't have to be you know, hiding behind the bush. Mm -hmm. You are taking, you must be the judge. You must be the governors. You must be the great athlete. You must be the great preachers of this country. You must be the great physician. We don't let the world dictate us. Because we're not in the friend. We are hiding behind because this is the curse. The Lord said, you know, if you don't obey me, this is exactly, you'll become a byword, an easy word. That's exactly what we see. We are supposed to be in the foreigners. Because he says, you are, I'm willing to give you the kingdom. You are it. Those guys, 12 guys, you know, who shook the world upside down, brought the Roman <laughs> Empire to crumble down. You go to Rome, you can see, in every top you can see the cross. There is, there is all this Roman temple, and the green temple, and you name it. For every place you see, the cross is on the top of the Capella. And if, if that is true, he says, I'm the same God. He can do it even now. And but 
will you give a price? The price is asking you, give your heart, give your family. Who's that so wicked that trying to stop you? Bring that man, he says, bring that demon to the son here, your daughter here. Bring that debaucherous husband here. Bring that wicked witch here, your woman, whoever it is. Bring your children here. I can do it. Give them to me. Be serious. I own everything. All the power. All the glory, Jesus said, it's given in my hand. If King Ezekiah commanded, people listen. And you know, when he is saying, my faith is in Christ, I was this, I was this, I was that. And he says, my Lord came and changed my life. I can stand up for him. I don't care what, what, the, what the sinners are going to say. I don't care. He's just openly confessing his faith. When he is acknowledging right there, the Bible says that we have to prosper. Because if we listen to the king, and the greatest king he gave you this edict today, he's talked to you, to your heart. And if you listen to the king, he says, hey, you will be prospering. What, you, what do you want? Help? Well, you, you're looking for a woman? You're looking for some... You, you, name it. Name it. The Lord is willing to do it. Because he says, I have the power on him and on all the earth. And I'll be with you to do that. You, how many believe that he is really speaking to Amen. I don't see this doubt. He does not. Yeah. He is. Do you believe, sir, that he is, he, whatever he says, I will do that? Put it to practice. Lay it down. Lay your life down. Take those wickedness from you and say, Lord, let me trash it today. I hear, I never expected this to happen in my life. I don't know why I come. I don't know. I never expected this. But Lord, I know you spoke to our hearts. Within such a short span, Maybe another three hours here. God spoke so hard. And he wants to make you rich here. This riches you're going to carry on. You will never run down. You will never run down. Shaken. Remember that flowing, you know, how the measure riches. It says, if anyone hears me, the torrent of running, living water, what he says, will gush out of you. John 7, 30, 37 to 39. 7, 37 to 39. Great. Great. Wonderful. I'm so happy. This, ha this has to happen. From here, the blessing needs to go. I want this blessing to proceed from this place. I tell you, that's this woman's plan. That is the plan of whom she believes. And why why Dom, Dominic keeps referring to Irene Carter? Oh, I have Mama. to. I have because to. she's been she in my is. life for 25 years. Oh, yeah. She is the mother. I saw the heart of that woman. You know? Because she knew the enemy tried to crush her into pieces. Yeah. Same. In we walked the same boat. And that's where we could easily identify ourselves. And we will we'll never let the enemy do that to you guys. That's where, you know, our hearts are crying. This is the heart of the Lord. Any of this word doesn't belong to me. Yeah, another thing, you, you said this, I don't even know this, this, this gentleman, Tommy, the guy talks in front of, what, 10,000, 50,000 people, and the Lord said, no, you're going to Florida. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, when, when I said, the, when she called me, she didn't, I don't know the protocol. I doesn't go up in the protocol, you know. And she said, you ought to come. I said, well, I have so many the engagement. I said, I will want you to come. I think that's the command. There is a third thing there. I said, Lord, do I have to go? Just listen to her. Go. I, you know, I have to prearrange, you know, I said, let's see if there's a Lord. They, they, the Lord has to speak to this person, you know. And everybody says, oh, it's okay, you know. Two weeks, no problem. Woman, okay. I thought, I'll, go, I'll be here. And you'll be here. You know, we're not here for nothing. I hope you understand. 